hello you are welcome how to solve this nice algebra problem to find x here we have x times x times x times x same thing as x raised to power 4 which is equals to 16 on this side then let's take 16 here then we have x raised to power 4 minus 16 equals to 0 from here in here we can write x raised to the power 4 as x square then square as 2 times 2 here will still be 4 then we can write 16 as 4 square then equals to 0 from here and this follows from perfect square when we have a square minus b square and this can be written as a plus b multiplied by a minus b and here we have x square serving as a and 4 serving as b then this now can be written as x square plus 4 then multiply by x square minus 4 which is equals to zero from here then from what we have we have two cases we have x square plus four equals to zero or we have x square minus four equals to zero then from this side we take four here become minus and we have x square equals to minus 4 and then from here we take the square root on both sides we have square root of x square equals to square root of minus 4 then here square we cancel the square root we have x now equals to plus or minus here we can write it as root 4 times minus 1 and which also we can separate as x equals to plus or minus root 4 times root minus 1 then here this gives us x equals to plus or minus 2 then root minus 1 is i so we have two complex solutions from here then from this other side here let's write this again as f square minus 2 square then equals to 0 from here then applying the perfect square we have here then x serving as a then 2 serving as b so we have x plus 2 multiply by x minus 2 here then equals to 0 from here then is it that we have x plus 2 equals to 0 or we have x minus 2 equals to 0 then from here taking 2 here become minus and we have x equals to minus 2 then also we have here taking minus here become plus we have x equals to 2 then from here we have all together four solutions from here you can see the first one x1 equals to 2 then we have x2 equals to minus 2 then we have x3 equals to 2r then we have x4 equals to minus 2r so all together we have these four solutions from this given problem and when we check from what we have we can substitute the value of x here for the first one which is x equals to 2 then what we have here will become 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and is it equals to 16 so we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is it equals to 16 that is from here 
2 times 2, that's 4. 4 times 2, that's 8. 8 times 2, that's 16, which is equal to 16. And also, for x equals to minus 2, to be minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2 is equal to 16. And from here, minus 2 times minus 2, that's 4. Then times also minus 2 times minus 2, that's 4. Is equal to 16. Here, my 4 times 4, that's 16, which is equal to 16. Also, the left hand side equals to the right hand side, and that's also satisfy the given problem. Then, also, when we look at the complex, which is x equals to 2i, then we have 2i times 2i times 2i times 2i is equals to 16. And from here, when we have 2i times 2i, we can write it as 4i square. Then also here we have 4i square is equals to 16. And here i square is minus 1. i square is minus 1. So we have, because we have root minus 1 to be equals to i. So when we square both sides, we have i square now equals to minus 1. Then that means we have minus 1 times 4. This is minus 4 times here minus 4 is equals to 16. And here minus 4 times minus 4. That will give us plus 16, which is also equals to 16. Also, here we have x equals to 2i, satisfying the given problem. And also for minus 2i, for x equals to minus 2i, then we have minus 2i times minus 2i times minus 2i times minus 2i. Is it equals to 16? Then from here, minus 2 times minus 2, that's plus 4. Then i times i, i square. Then also, this also give us minus 2 times minus 2 plus 4. Then i times i, i square. Is it equals to 16? And since i square is minus 1, so this is equals minus 4 times minus 4. Is it equals to 16? Then minus times minus is plus, then 4 times 4, that's 16, which is equals to 16. Now, also left-hand side equals to the right-hand side, and x is equals to minus 2i, also satisfying the given problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Turn notification bell on, share this video, and give it a thumbs up. See you in the next class, and bye for now.